Okay, looks like it's recording. Good evening, YouTube. This is Silent Citadel. And ASMR Oret. And tonight we're going to collaborate on a video for you. We're just going to show you some things. We're going to pass them back and forth. Here's a crystal. It's got dark crystals on the top and it fades to white and clear near the bottom. It's beautiful. It's really shiny. It is the way that it sparkles up here. Mm -hmm. Just these tiny little pinpoints of light. It's so sparkly. And it makes a nice little They're like a, a caramel brown. They look delicious. I would eat it. <laughs> so this next object is a bottle and it says laudanum poison. It looks like it was from made from opium and alcohol. It's got a little skull and crossbones on it. sound very poisonous to me. No. <laughs> it sounds pretty nice. <sighs> Often, before they knew how bad these opiates were, they would give them to women for female problems. <laughs> Not just cramps, but hysteria. <sighs> On the antidote, it says, use a stomach pump or emetics cold application to the spine, strong black coffee. The body is to be kept in constant motion by walking. Will you set that down? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's next? I'm going to show you my grandfather's camera. It has his name. Virgil wrap on it. It's gonna make a little click. Wow. He used this during the Korean War. He was a medic. So a photographer. Do you want it? Of course. I would love to have a camera like this. This is beautiful. I bet he took a lot of interesting pictures. He did. Yes. Many. This up here is where you put the flash. There are all sorts of places around it where it's ribbed. Here. It does make wonderful little sounds. All right. I'll put this down. Okay. If you'd like to hand, show me something. Alright, so next we have a shell. It's oh, pretty it's colorful. Mm -hmm. It's got white and navy blue and some dark brown, a little bit of yellow. It looks how symmetrical. It has a lot of spines on it. It's like mathematics expressed in nature. Mm hmm. Got the little opening there. It's very smooth and not rough, but spiny on the outside. 
I wonder what the little creature who lived in this was like. Me too. I love how the little spine describes this perfect spiral all the way up to the top. Mm -hmm. The next item looks like maybe some sort of dog or lion. It's got a little face, two little eyes, tail, little front leg posed. Looks <laughs> like that. It's very heavy. It looks like his teeth are very human. <laughs> That's true. He's got a very strange little mouth and he appears to have some some kind of hole drilled in the bottom of him. I wonder if he used to stand on top of something. I bet you're right. I bet he did exactly that. Perhaps on top of some kind of post. Mm-hmm. He's got a lovely patina. And he appears to be in very good shape and fairly old, I think. Mm-hmm. He's worn away in the bottom a little bit. Definitely. On the back here. You can see it's fading. Mm -hmm. The texture is fading away a little bit. Becoming much more smooth. What a delightful object. Do you want to get the next one? I will. Now I don't know what this is. I got this at an antique shop and I think I paid about seven dollars for it as though the bottom should be able to come off. It looks but separate. It doesn't. No. We tried. <laughs> it's quite heavy as well. It definitely is. You can just imagine a little bird inside or something. Or Somebody suggested that it might be a cricket cage, but it the bars are far too far apart. It would escape Crickets moments. Could definitely escape from here. <laughs> Maybe it was a very large cricket. I do have this strange memory. When I bought this, it said frog something, or something frog. Like, that was part of its name. I think it was meant for the garden. Oh, perhaps. I don't but know. I'm not sure how or in what capacity. I think it's strange that you can't get the bottom off. It's very interesting. Hmm. I love how the metal has aged. Me too. Worn away. I like how every other spoke leads into the center. You're right. I didn't even notice that. Mm -hmm. How strange and wonderful. Weird little object. I have another tiny box. This one is called a carmative, and it appears to be very much like the laudanum, alcohol, opium, maybe habit forming. Perhaps. <laughs> Just a little. These are actually, these labels on this one, this bottle is quite new, and I found these, this label and printed it out. Oh wow. Turner Drug Company, prescription workout specialty, Roanoke, Virginia, the Rexel store. Show me something. Sure. I'll pick something out. Here's some more crystals, but they're not as shiny um, at first glance. But if you look closely, you can see all the tiny little 
particles that make up the crystal. I love how matte it is. Mm -hmm. It's understated. May I see the other side? Mm -hmm. Very opaque. That one's beautiful. It was part of a part of a um, thun thunder egg. Thunder egg. Some sedimented rock on the outside. If you turn it in the light, you can see some of the crystals poking yeah, through. Little sparkles. Just little tiny ones. It's very pretty. It is lovely. Set that one down. Something rather large. Oh, good. This is an antique opium pipe, and it is actually a real opium pipe. Um, or pipe. I don't know what they used it for, but it's made out of bamboo. Mm -hmm. And this part comes out. Probably for cleaning. Carved away for your mouth, at the very top, right there. I just took a knife and shaved off parts of it. It's very smooth. I love how age makes wood shiny. Mm -hmm. It was never polished. I'm sure of it. Wow. And there's sounds. There's a crack in the middle. and the water is so mineralized that the minerals collect into these little spheres and mostly they are illegal to collect now but these ones were quite old it came from my great grandmother in New Mexico there's this delightful part right here where you can see the layer that's so pretty would you like to hold it? I'd love to all the dots, all the different particles and minerals dripping down. You can see where the layer begins. It took millions of years to form this little tiny sphere. It's incredible. And it just looks like, like a perfect little marble. Mm -hmm. A little planet. little clouds and weather patterns. Mm-hmm. Little mountain peaks poking up. Here's the pole. Yep. <laughs> well, YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>